Okay, so jackpot claimed what the Associated Press knows so far about the $1.3 billion Powerball win. Okay. Fifty-two, twenty-two, rounding it out with 69. Do those Powerball numbers look familiar? You might want to check again. I mean, yeah, some of the numbers do look familiar, you know. Um, yeah, we don't need to, to get into all of those right now. Let's just play the video. Woke up and saw that it was in Oregon. I was like, oh, that's... That's nice. A winning Powerball ticket worth $1.3 billion was sold in Portland for Saturday's drawing. So far, no one's come forward to claim the prize. And my grandparents texted me asking if I won. I was like, I'd have to buy a ticket to win. The Oregon Lottery says the lucky winner bought their ticket in the 97218 zip code. Uh, watching this video for the first. Watching this video for the first time. Okay. Nine seven two one eight. Wow. Okay. Let's take that's interesting. Um I'll note that. That's Northeast Portland in the Cully neighborhood near the Portland International Airport. Six hundred million dollars. Yeah, it's hard to even imagine. If the win Well, that said six hundred million dollars. Did you just hear that? And um, I just actually hit on this right before I started making the video. Let me see. Uh, we have the address here. Let me see. And it's um, 6060. Oh, I dropped. It's 6060 Northeast Columbia Boulevard. I'm going to pull it up. 6060 Northeast Columbia Boulevard. Here it is right here. There it is. You see that? That's it right there. And um, in the slides, uh, I actually have it where they verify it's the location. But how about that? And they said $600 million. Um, That would be just a, a payout, um, not over the 30 years or whatever, right? If I'm not mistaken. And they might have just rounded that off as well. But again, um, 600 million with the 6060. That's been hitting a lot because Donald Trump equals 60 as well. Okay. And played plaid right here. Pantry. That's what the air that's what the, the convenience store is called. Um just kind of like paid. <laughs> you know? Is that plaid paid? I mean, you just have the L and uh, this link, the language. I mean, it's right in front of your face sometimes and you don't see it. Okay. Not saying that's like a super hit, but you know, just kind of bringing it up. Right. So let's go back over here. Winner chooses to take the lump sum. They walk away with $621 million. Okay. The I have a two year old, specific. so I uh, definitely set her up for the rest of her life. 621 what was that area code again remember how they had three numbers oh it was wow 721 that would have been amazing because it's centered on the 721 for the rest of her life danielle dunn would spend the jackpot on her family my grandparents raised me so they would definitely see a big chunk of it it's hard i think i'd want to go on some vacations maybe and um do some upgrades to our house only yeah. new. maybe save for college oh if i want i would help as many people as i could you see how that says 97 million right there you see that look how it says the nine seven two one eight zip code right there you see that Nine seven two one eight zip code. Okay, Northwest Oregon. 
Look how it's 48 degrees and um, it is 4.9. We had that eclipse though with the 48. It's it that's hitting a lot right now. Um, and the 48th prime 2.23 as well. All right, so let's go back over here. So um, let's just let's move forward here now. That's no 52. Okay, let me full screen this. All right. So a plaid pantry sold winning lottery ticket, right? Okay, and jumped ahead a little bit there. Look at this. It says the odds of winning a Powerball Powerball drawing are one in two hundred and ninety-two million, and no one had won one since New Year's Day. I, if I'm not mistaken, I uh, I did that story as well january 1st look at that so it's a 98 day span from that day to this hitting you see that april 7th right there should the winner of sunday's drawing forego the rarely claimed option of a payout over 30 years the lump sum before taxes would be 621 you heard that right federal and state taxes will further shrink of course well, payout equals 98 with the 98-day span from, what, the last winner. It says it right there, okay? You know? Oh. Oh. The 98th day of the year. Sunday's drawing. You see that? What's up with that? And that's April 7th, right? You get the 47 again. Uh, wow. You know, and every, a lot of stuff syncs up with politics, right? DC, you get 47 and 11. To go with that 1-1 one, one date right there, that's, that's pretty interesting, right? Look at this. The 41 consecutive drawings without a winner until Sunday. Okay, cash money equals 41 in reverse reduction, jackpot equals 41. And um, what does it say? Without a winner until Sunday, tied the game's two longest droughts ever, which happened in 21 and the year 22, according to the lottery. Right. Okay, now... Um, you know, we're just going to catch on to some some numbers here, kind of like some patterns, you know, things that catch your eye, right? So look at, should the winner of Sunday's drawing forego the rare, rarely claimed option of a payout over 30 years, right? Well, I mean, look at this, a 1.3 billion Powerball win here. It says claimed what we know so far, um... You know, and uh, Oregon is a state where I don't, I have it coming up, but I don't think they have to, to put the name. I think they can keep it private of the winner. Uh, we'll see. We'll verify that here coming up. But again, um, Oregon lottery officials say someone came forward Monday to claim the prize. Oh, okay. So there's our verification or else we would have got a name, right? And that they're working, oh, it says, oh, okay, they're verifying the win. We're not going to get the name, though. Announcing the winner will take a couple of weeks. Oregon Lottery Spokesman. Look at that. So you get Melanie right here. So, and that's reverse. Uh, just Z is 1, A is 26. And M's the 13th letter of the alphabet. So, uh, so you see how we get kind of like those proofs there that this is all just scripted by the letters and numbers, right? Okay, so look, as we move forward here, um, that's not all with those numbers. Look, okay? We're talking like money, a payout, jackpot, lottery, whatever, uh, money-related. Millions equals 103 right here. So you kind of get 
you know, if you were to drop that the zero, the zeros, you're going to get 13. And I don't, I know they're, they're going to say an unlucky number. You know, we have Friday the 13th and so on. I'm, I don't stamp any of the numbers like that. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, I'm, my opinion is it just kind of shows the connections, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be related things. But as you see um, with these celebrities and these trending stories, right? It, it's just very obvious. That's why we um, we do these decodes the way we do them. So, you know, as I speak here, and you see the last name Mazaros, is that a, you get MM. So you get 13. 13 with the 13th letter 1.3 billion and i mean millions 103 in ordinal right and did i did we uh what did we get with the cash money wow we got 41 with jackpot and the 41 consecutive drawings without a winner until sunday and then we get uh cash money you get the 103 right here and you see it, it matches up with millions, 103, and look at the 40 as well, right? 40 like Melanie back there, Oregon Lottery spokesperson, right? And uh, today is Tuesday. You know, this article's from today. Well, even if it wasn't, it, I mean, this, this is trending right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I will go look. Let's go right over here. Yeah. Yeah. 49.94 uh, right there. Look, I don't think we landed on a 49. You know, green equals 49. Like cash. Okay. Um, Just on the fly. That's what I got with that. Right there. You see that? And I think the 23 hits as well to sync up green with cash. Uh, is it cash? Let me see. Cash equals 23. Look at how cash has that 13. You see that right there? Cash has that 13 and 31. All right? You see that? Okay. So, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go too far on that because we have a... Uh, I think we're going to hit on some of that. But back over here. And I put it real big right there, the number for dishonesty. Okay? You see 113, 311. Uh, and you're noticing um, over to the left there, 103 is the 27th prime number. And you see millions 103, bullshit 103, cash money 103, and again, $1.3 billion Powerball. Melanie 130 mm with the name 13th letter okay 103 the 27th prime money equals 27 and the last name of this character in the story and you see the 40 again connects with the uh, trending today in the article right there uh yeah Mazaros right there the last name you get 27. Monday, money, Melanie, Mazaros. Come on. With the M, the 13th letter. Look. Okay. Matthew, right here. Appreciate y'all for real. Uh, you see it hit, huh? You know, and politics equals 113 as well. And uh, you know what? Don't. No, don't quote me. It may have a 103, 130 also. But it, it at least has the 113 just on the fly. Okay. And uh, I was going to say something else about the 113. Kind of slips my mind right now. But you kind of, uh, you get the point here, right? Right there. Look at that. Oregon lottery, lottery officials say someone came forward Monday to claim the prize and that they're working to verify the win. You see that? Well, verify it and come speak to us. But in the meantime, I guess we're going to decode you, right? Announcing the winner will take a couple of weeks. Oregon Lottery, again, right there. 
we decoded all of that. So, uh, so look, Oregon equals 88 in reverse. We know Trump 88, super trending. The eighth largest lottery prize in U.S. history. And, you know, I mean, Donald does equal 31, uh, like cash, right? Was it cash or was it green? Oh, yeah, it was cash. You see, 31 and 13, since we're here. And Donald's got the 23. And I just saw Fox 12. And Donald equals 112. Uh, you see? So you see how that all works, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And since we're here again, politics, 103 and 113. And you see the 40, and then you get the 50 like Donald. And you see how that works. Uh, 40 like Tuesday and Melanie. You see? Again, that's how I do my connections. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, I have math right in the name. I don't know if that... Um, yeah, I think that, that may help. You know? If anybody were to do this, you know? But yeah, eighth largest lottery prize, Oregon 88. There may be more. You know, they say text... Trump to 88022, it's a selection year, all of that, right? Uh, what else? Did we read all of this? Oh, some states allow lottery winners to remain anonymous, which can help them avoid requests for cash from friends, strangers, and creditors. Oh, I'm wrong. My bad. Correct me. wonder if anybody called me out on that. In the meantime, correct me. Uh, I misspoke, misspoke earlier. Okay, so Oregon isn't one of them and requires winners to come forward. So they're verifying it. Well, how come they didn't verify? They should have verified it, got a name, and then hit the article. Don't you think? It's like, oh, let's hurry. And you know what I'm saying? I guess I can't blame them, you know, right? <laughs> Some of us can do that with the decodes, I guess. But, you know, we got to come with the info, though. It's not like, hey. I'm getting set up to do a decode. Here's like a 20 minute video letting you know I'm getting ready. And, and there's that Fox 12 again right there. All right. This guy's doing construction next door. Uh, excuse that. You excuse it, right? Now we're hitting on Trump, right? I'm not changing the thumbnail, but this was, it said the drawing, right? Four slash seven. Plaid Pantry Convenience Store, 407, okay, Oregon, <laughs> you get 74, and you know, Trump does equal 47, there's probably more with that, uh, did I, yeah, you see it right there, but we need to look at it in the article, right, let's go over here, let me scroll down a little bit right here. I see that 621. If you look at it in reverse, 126. And seeing a lot of that lately. Um, so where's the store? Here it is right here. Let me zoom. Right there. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Back then it hit. Now it's like, eh. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you see that right there. Wow, the managers get a split $100,000 bonus for selling the winning ticket. And employees typically get a cut. Okay, that'll work. Well, it's probably just to go along with the script, right? It's a little hush money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, right? Okay, let's go back over here. Nice and easy. Okay, so you see how that hits. The ticket that matched all six numbers was sold at, sold at a plaid pantry convenience store in northeastern Portland, an area of modest homes, the city's main airport, and a golf course, right? Wow. Billion. 1.3 billion. Okay, I mean, look at that. For real. Billion. Three out of four ciphers with Portland. I mean, for real, for real, for real. Remember they had Dame Dalla, the Trailblazers, and, you know, they traded him to the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> the 
the team that wears green. Remember green equals 49 like today, 4 slash 9. Hello. I got your back for real. Okay. Those 44s, I mean, they really did have 44s as one of the numbers. Okay. They did, right? Let's go. Um, let's go back. I said we weren't going to look at it, but those 44s hit right there. 52. Oh, a couple other numbers hit. 22. Rounding it. So you see those numbers right there? So you see the 44s hit. Look at the 27 and the 52 right there. We just destroyed the 27, right? Uh, was it Monday? And there was like another 27, money 27, and you had 72s, remember? Now look at that 52 right there. Okay. Look at the 52. Let's go over here. Right here. Let's see. We got a 52. Billions. 52. Billion 44. Portland 44. What else was over there? Um, They're not all going to hit, but it's interesting, right? Uh, Okay, 22 and 69. We'll just take a look. Why not? I don't think they those landed, but let's just come over here and look. 22 and 69. Um, well... I don't know what that name is, but you get 222 there. We're, we're not going to utilize that. Monday's got the 72 as well. Let me see. No, that's cool. Let's go take another glance at the numerology here. Because we got two dates to work with. We got that last winter, New Year's. I could probably put New Year's in the calculator. Oh, and I don't want to give away. I don't want to give away any of that. Okay, I don't see anything there. Oh, we already hit on that 98, so we're good there. Let's go back over here. Okay, so those first three numbers hit nice right there. Okay, let's fast forward. All right, man, that's super right there. 37, 116, and 44 billion in Portland, same ciphers. There's There it is right there. 1.3 billion Powerball jackpot has been claimed in Oregon after a lucky lotto player came forward Monday, officials announced. The winning ticket was sold at the Plaid Pantry, 6060 Northeast Columbia Boulevard. In the video, they said 600 million and Donald Trump equals 60. We're getting a lot of Trump numbers here. 52. 22 rounding it out with 69. Do those Powerball numbers look familiar? You might want to check again. Woke up and saw that it was in Oregon. I was like, oh, that's, that's nice. A winning Powerball ticket worth $1.3 billion was sold in Portland for Saturday's drawing. So far, no one's come forward to claim the prize. And my grandparents texted me asking if I won. I was like, I'd have to buy a ticket to win. The and 60 60 in the address with the 600 million. Oregon Lottery says the lucky winner bought their ticket in the 97218 zip code. That's Northeast Portland in the Culley neighborhood near the Portland International Airport. Wow, hold on. You add it up, you get 27. Money 27 rhymes with mon like you know, money, Monday, and we had Melanie. But was it Monday and money had the 27s? And you see a 72 right there, but look, 9 plus 7 16 plus 2 18 plus 1, 19, plus 8, 27. <laughs> you see it? Portland International Airport. $600 million. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to even imagine. If the winner chooses... See that? <laughs> and Donald, I'm not... I'm I'm done putting, um, putting Trump in thumbnails for the moment, for real. But look. <laughs> There's that 48 eclipse date. And there's that 60 right there. You know, I guess it goes hand in hand, right? <laughs> you see it? Okay. And if you add it up, you get 108. Okay. And Joe Biden's full name equals 108. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. 
that's an interesting point uh, for sure. Okay. So let's advance. And I think we're about done here. Again, uh, just like a quick, easy one, right? Let's see. Let's see um, do, oh, yeah. I didn't point it out when we were there. Wow. And Trump equals 25 as well. Okay, that's... And you get 255. Jackpot, jackpot claimed. Excuse me. Jackpot claimed 255 in reverse. A perfect match in the same cipher. Z is 1, A is 26 with the alphabet, the language. You get 255. 6060 Northeast Columbia Boulevard. Look at it right there. I mean, that's the verification. And they said 600 million. I guess they were, you know, they just rounded it off, right? You know? And, um, wow. <laughs> And you see how it syncs with the address. Uh, you know what? That 621 that it showed, when you look at it backwards, 126, I think you get that with Biden's name. And I'm, I'm not going to go keep hitting the calculator. That's wild. And he's the commander in chief, right? And uh, his name syncs. I know Patrick Mahomes. I think the full name has the 126 as well for the Chiefs, and they won the Super Bowl. That's just interesting. Uh, and they're talking about taxes here. Even after taxes, 24% federal. <laughs> and 8% Oregon here. So, you know, the year 24. Look at the $400 million. The winner's lump rhymes with Trump, right? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just catching that, but some payment would top 400 million, and U.S. equals 40 and four. United States equals 40. Wow. Does it? Why? And they bring up Baltimore or the minimum cost to rebuild the recently destroyed. Y'all really had to bring it up, right? The bridge for somebody last weekend's win is a bridge to a new life. Are you serious? And it's like, they just, they do these, they like destroy bridges and make buildings collapse. And it's like, yeah, a rebirth. It's like, dude, can we just live? You know what I'm saying? So Francis Scott key bridge, they bring that up. So let's, let's go hit the cal. I guess we're hitting the calculator again. Wow. Francis Scott. That name Scott, I think, hit in the decode earlier again. Francis. Francis equals 47. Francis equals 47. You see that right there? Again, Trump 47. Wow. Oh, wow. All oh, man. Yeah, even John equals 47. Donald John Trump, right? Wow. We never we never get to enter the whole the full thing and it's like we hit because numbers rule the world, right? Let's see. Look at the 98 right there. In Francis Scott Key Bridge. You see that right there? This will be simple because remember April 7th and we just hit the 47 again. That was Sunday. And we just hit the 47 again. You saw it. Look, the 98th day of the year. And we had the 98 day span from the last winter, New Year's Day. That's what they said. And Francis Scott Key, did we put bridge in there? Yes, we did. 98 and let's just see if we'll hit enter and see if it hits elsewhere they brought it up it's like really oh it just hits with uh the tournament that yeah, yukon that's it right there yukon okay um let me enter uh what did i say i was gonna enter oh man i was gonna enter something else uh i'll have to think of it 
If not, we'll, we're okay. I think we're okay. Or I'll think of it. We'll see. Okay, so easy money. Oh, let's look at the time over there. 6.15. Ooh, they're getting close to that. What was it? 6.21 and 600 thing we're hitting on. 64 degrees right there. Interesting how they had, they could have edited like that that stuff out over there, right? Okay, so yeah, that thumbnail hits nice. I mean, it could be better, but they, it works, you know? Can't spend tons of time on the thumbnails, man. We need the info that's inside. You know, we need people to just catch on and be like, oh, I want to click on this because I know it's packed with some knowledge, right? You know, I try to put, you know, these connections out there for y'all. So that was, you know, just run it back and take a glance. You know, and the 47 hit throughout, you know, as you see, that background, amazing right there. Okay. All of it, 88. We had the 255, Trump equals 25. You see the 12 there, Donald equals 112. Eighth largest lottery prize in U.S. history. And, hey, Trump is known for money, y'all. I'm still not going to change the... Uh, Still not going to change the thumbnail, but Trump money. Yeah, I I remember him when I was younger. Um, he wasn't a politician or none of that. He kind of like developed into a actor. Well, these are all actors, but you know he was an actor. But he was known for having money before that. I don't know where that pick went. There was a couple picks where he was holding money that weren't like AI bullcrap. But anyways, you know, you can do your research, right? Trump 2020, T the 20th letter of the alphabet. Trump Tower TT 2020. <laughs> and Trump's already a definition. And he plays that, the definition, right? all right so you know that's that jackpot claimed are we gonna get it you know we didn't get no name i guess let me um we'll just go down here uh we didn't get no name though they would have stated the name probably right here okay i'm glancing up here said Okay, that's the CEO and president there. Eh, not seeing the name. Wow, you get 2005 right there. We hit on 255 uh, with the address. Um, I can't remember what it connected with, but uh, it was in the slide right there and then the 1.8 we hit on a 108 and we hit on biden's full name that equaled 108 i just can't remember what it was right here okay yeah not seeing a name so maybe and look even mega millions they talk about here m m again the 13th letter and bam just right there bam 1.3 with the billion Look, look at this. You get another 27. If the winner got to take home the entire jackpot in a single payout and didn't have to pay taxes, it would still be nowhere near the 227 billion. Wow, and this hits. Net worth of the world's richest person, Elon Musk, when Musk equals 44. What else equals 44? He bought something that equals 44. Was it Twitter? I don't. It was something like that. He bought something that equaled forty-four. Wow! And you get that twenty-seven again, like money and Monday, money Monday, and remember Melanie. <laughs> uh, why do they bring up Taylor Swift now? Oh, they're just comparing it to all these characters. Taylor Swift is born on the thirteenth. Yo, come on, barf. She moved to Tennessee to pursue, to pursue a country music career at age 13. 
Okay, you saw all the 13s, the number for dishonesty. And that's that. We don't I don't see no name. So easy money. Easy peasy. Alright, so it's four slash nine, right? Four slash nine. Okay, green equals 49. Did we hit on that? Yeah, we hit on that, right? So tomorrow's 4 slash 10, like 41. Okay, we'll see what's going on with the NBA, the Lakers probably with Kobe. Wow, we had 41 here, didn't we? Yeah, we had 41, huh, with Jackpot and Cash Money, didn't we? If I'm not mistaken. And tomorrow, wow, and tomorrow's 4 slash 10, like 41. Or you could say the 10th day of the 4th month, 104, right? You know, breaks down to the 14, you get the reflection, jackpot, cash money. One of these days, I just need to start just do a thumbnail like that. Like, bam. <laughs> just let it out of the bag in the thumbnail. So, okay, jackpot claimed what AP knows so far. And there's always more, y'all. It says 1.326. Probably hits, right? <laughs> uh, they round. They do a lot of rounding here. So, knows so far about the $1.3 billion Powerball win. Claimed. You know, maybe we get a name. All right, y'all. Until... Next time.